Welcome back. I'm going to be bringing you another drink video today since my last drink video, the rum punch that I made, seemed to do so well. So maybe we're going to make this a regular thing where I find new drinks and I try them for you. So unlike my last video, we made a, a batch, a big batch of that. I think it was for Courtney's birthday. Um, and we used far more alcohol than what the uh, recipe called for. We pretty much just ripped the restricted plates right off those bottles and dumped everything in there. So I'm actually going to follow the recipe today so you can drink without worry of damaging your liver. So today, it's actually my around the world dinner day. Here in the family we do around the world dinners where everybody cooks a different dinner. Um, about once a month we do it. So I got Italy, so we're doing an Italian drink. We're doing a martini. And the one that we're doing today we found on Three Olives Branch website. Uh, if you guys want to go look up, and I have to give them credit because this is not my recipe. <clears throat> if you want to go look up the recipe for yourself, and this is called Amalfi Martini Limoncello. So it looks pretty good. Anyways, if you like citrusy drinks, which I tend to sometimes, I think it would be pretty good. Uh, it's pretty simple. I've never made a martini before, but I think this follows the general structure of a martini. So the only thing you need, you need limoncello, which I found this at the local ABC store. Uh, I'm assuming maybe you can just find it wherever you normally buy liquor if you don't live here in the great state of Virginia. Uh, regular gin. I got Citadel. Regular dry gin. I'm assuming this is a good one. I don't drink gin, so we're going to find out. Fresh lemons. Cut into wedges for garnish. Excuse me. Uh, for each drink, you're going to need six mint leaves, one ounce of fresh lemon juice, which I squeezed one of these lemons and got exactly one ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then <clears throat> once you get into this, you're going to need three ounces of the limoncello and then four ounces of the gin. Uh, the only other thing that you need really special for this uh, are obviously martini glasses. However, I'm not very sophisticated. I don't own a single martini glass. So we're just going to be using the old plastic cocktail cups left over from the wedding. But I do have a cocktail shaker and fill it about two-thirds with ice. All right, let's get down to it. All right, so first thing we we'll start off with is four ounces of gin, or I guess maybe I should probably empty this before I do anything else. Okay, so like I said, grab your cocktail shaker, fill it two-thirds of the way with ice, one ounce of fresh lemon juice. There we go. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. Four ounces of gin. of the limoncello. Three. There we go. You're not going to catch me at your local bar serving a drink anytime soon. Alright. Cap this bad boy off. Make sure everything is sealed tight. I speak from experience that it makes a giant mess if it's not. I watch a lot of bar rescue. Garnish. Oh yeah. Bye. There we go. Amalfi Martini Limoncello. You gonna try it? I am. That's good. Very lemony. Highly recommend. So like I said guys, this is Amalfi Martini Limoncello. Feel free to try it and feel free to ring that bell so you get notifications every time we post new videos. Uh, stay tuned as we adventure our way through this foster care process and hopefully soon I'll put up some more house project videos. So I do have a special video planned here, hopefully coming in the next week or so as soon as I get my old truck here. So stay tuned. 